Alright folks, welcome back to Kings Consoles. Here is some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare content for you. Today we're taking a look at the blueprint which is achieved by completing the mission Specialist Spectacle uh, called the uh, Wilma. Wilma? I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, but yeah, this is quite a fun challenge. Uh, using something I haven't used that often is the Specialist Perks. For those of you who may not know, you can forgo your kill streaks and have additional perks, and it works just about the same as we as kill streaks. The more kills you get, the more perks you unlock. And uh, yes, it's a fun one. Um, I said it made me think a bit more. I mean, when I play the objective games, I tend to be the one that rushes in, dies a lot, and gets the kills at the same time, more defense. Um, they had to be a bit smarter in the way I played, so effectively having to stay at the one objective and defend the objective, because uh, I like to play a lot of domination. But yeah, this one was pretty straightforward. I've actually just unlocked this today. I haven't even tried it until now. But um, we'll just quickly run through it and then we'll show you the weapon that you unlock. So, first we have to get first specialist perks. Pretty straightforward one. Um, recommend putting Hardline on as one of your primary perks because you only need one kill to unlock the first specialist perk. So that was 20 times. Basically, kill somebody 20 times and you unlock that first specialist perk bonus. Second one, much the same as the first, you just reach the second specialist uh, perk bonus 10 times. You just have to get, I think it's 3 kills to get your second specialist bonus. Um, so definitely worth putting the hard line on to kind of bring that down. Get the second specialist bonus perk 3 times in a match. So this is one of the strange ones because it actually helps when you die. If you want to do this really quickly, you could get your second specialist bonus perk and then just basically kill yourself and then do it once again. Because the problem is, if you do go on a quite a large kill streak, um, you might not get the chance to unlock your perk as often. Generally, play some play some objective games; you'll get that without any problems. And three matches being played, yeah, that's a pretty straightforward as well. Reach the third specialist perk bonus five times. So same again; you just have to reach that third specialist perk five times, and you'll do that just by playing objective-based games. So I would recommend doing it more than. Um, Team Deathmatch, but that's depending on your skill level, I guess. And last but not least is earn the complete specialist bonus two times, and that's the max rank. If you get the maximum number of kills, um, I'll just quickly show you what that looks like. So if we go to our loadouts here, this is another one I used, I just kind of set this up for the purpose of the video. But if you get seven kills, so if I take away the hard line, put restock on, so it's two kills to get your. Uh, First specialist, four kills to get your um, second. I uh, can't really see that there. Uh, 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 six kills to get your um, third, and then eight kills to get your specialist bonus. So I don't know why you wouldn't put hardline on just to reduce that down by one kill, unless you really want. Um, what I'd recommend is what you know having your perk to stick that as your fourth perk because once you get one kill you're going to get your ghost or whatever you prefer to rock in the, the pair too. So, enough of that, let's get a look at the gun itself. Uh, it's an AK-47 variant, so there's your standard AK and it's wooden glory if you can't remember what it looks like. And the option we have, as I say, is the Willamina, would you say that? Willama? I don't know. Uh, but it looks pretty badass gun, to be fair. So, as we always start with these videos, we'll take a little look at the little preview video. Um, these guns are great because they look so different to your standards. I wasn't a big fan of the blueprints that were coming out and they maybe had a couple of extra attachments but they looked pretty plain. Um, they're heading to the park because if you see somebody with this gun you go, ah, where did you get that gun from? Because you can't buy these blueprints of course from the store, I'm not aware of anyway. But, um, oh, Cold War. Uh, I didn't even notice that. It's a Cold War gun. Let's uh, see if that recycles back through again. So this is made in Russia. Yeah, Moscow, Russia. You can see the writing on there. Yep. Tempest, Armored Inc. Tempest on the top there. Um, let's have a run around the gun. So TA, so that's your Tempest Armament, seems to be the manufacturer of this gun. Nice, uh, strange combination of colours that must be added. Like the purple with the it's not really gold, it's more of like a, a bronzy, a polished bronze. Uh, maybe copper, would you say? Yeah, copper kind of looking colour. Got gold accents on the trigger, uh, certain parts on the, um, the stock as well. And kind of fancy. What was that? Yeah, got gold in the front there. Um, but yeah, overall, nice looking gun. Um, bit of an oddity, but I do like it. So I don't know if maybe being introduced to time with Cold War going by what we saw there. 
Let's do, as always, a run through of the attachments. So we have five attachments with this gun, starting off with the muzzle, which is your tactical suppressor. I won't go through all the, the tech specs, you can know what these items are so far, but the pros and cons I will go through. So your tactical suppressor will serve your suppression, but your cons is your aim down sight speed and aim walking steadiness is reduced, because of course we're adding weight to the gun. Your barrel for this choice is quite high on lock, if you haven't unlocked much of the attachments for the AK-47. It's the 8.1 inch compact barrel, so it does help with your aim down sight speed, so it kind of cancels out your suppressor there, and your movement speed is improved as well. Also your bullet velocity and your recoil control is reduced, or it becomes worse I should say. Um, you have the tack laser, interesting attachment, but high level attachment I might say. So tack laser helps your aim down sight speed, uh, aim stability and aim walk steadiness. The cons of course is your laser is visible to enemies. We have the skeleton stock, um, which will help with your aim walking movement speed, aim down sight speed and your aim stability is reduced by using this. Last but not least, we have the 30 rounds, or the 5.45x39mm uh, 30 30 round mags, so this will help your fire rate and your recoil control, but your damage and your range will be reduced. So I think this is kind of aiming more towards a running gun type weapon, not just a long range engagement, um, more kind of um, shooting mid to close range. Um, but yeah, overall, nice looking gun. Let's give this a little look at what the different attachments look like. So it's a different variant. So there's your standard, and there's the um, this gun variant. Wallima, Wallima. I don't, I don't like have difficulty saying that name. Wallima, we'll see. Um, don't know, I'm obsessed with the name of this gun. Skeleton stock default is just going to be all black. Um, definitely a one. You can see this chalk and cheese. You can see the different how how nice that is with the the TA logo in there and the purple and the chrome that sort of chrome the gold and copper accents. Uh, we also then have tack laser variant, which does look like a specialist one as well. So default, yeah, it's got the kind of black. It's actually the, the dark purple and gold on there. So that's cool. Was a nice. Attachments that are uh, specialized to the gun. So yeah, there's your wooden barrel. Try to put bonnets in there. So your wooden barrel that looks much better with the purple. And the last one is your tactical suppressor, which I think is probably the most striking um, attachment. You can barely see it. It's kind of at the side there. Like the preview weapon. Yeah, so that's your standard one. And then we stick the the new variant, so yeah, pretty cool. And if you've not actually, you don't like to use all the variants, at least you can add with the blueprints, whichever one you like. But that's all for this video, guys. Hope you do like it. Uh, do slap a like on this video and subscribe if you want to see more. If there's any more weapons to unlock, I'll certainly unlock them. And if there's, we do have a season seven, I'll do my best to actually unlock them as well. But as Dave Kings consoles, and catch you again very soon for our video. Bye bye.